The Dreadful Fluff by Erin Blaby. Serenity Strainer was perfect. Perfect, 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 perfect. But one Saturday morning, she discovered something perfectly awful. Belly button fluff? That can't possibly be mine, she said. But it was. And guess what? It was evil. The dreadful fluff said something so rude that Serenity went weak at the knees. Then it farted and tore off across the bathroom floor. At incredible speed, it sprang into the pocket of Serenity's perfectly stylish coat. And when it popped back up, all covered in lint, it was a good deal bigger than it was before. You ghastly thing, she said. But the dreadful fluff just coughed up something nasty and rolled off down the hall. By the time it reached the end of the perfectly fabulous shag pile rug, it was even bigger than the cat. And I'm sorry to say, it ate him. Then it hurtled into the laundry and set about making itself even bigger. Unfortunately, Serenity's mother was doing a load of washing at the time. Poor Mrs. Strainer never stood a chance. Give me back my mum, cried Serenity. But something had already caught the dreadful fluff's eye. Oh no, said Serenity Strainer. The dreadful fluff plunged under Tug Strainer's bed and came out the other side roughly the size of a Shetland pony. Serenity's big brother never knew what hit him. And that's when the baby woke up. Oh, no, said Serenity. She tried her best to block its way. But the dreadful fluff just brushed her aside and squeezed itself through the nursery door. Yum, said the dreadful fluff. I don't think so, said Serenity Strainer. Serenity plunged the vacuum deep into the dreadful fluff. What an awful sound it made. Cough them up, she roared, right now. And then with a pop and a splat and the plop of a cat. That was that. For the Strainer family, life has never really been the same again. And Serenity? Well, she isn't perfect. Far from it. But can she deal with that? She can deal with it perfectly well.